I ghosted Jamie on her birthday. I became overwhelmed with her neediness, and I ghosted her. I understand why Jamie started talking to this other woman. I hurt her by ghosting her, so she hurt me. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, in the first clip, that's from the second, first episode, I think, or second episode. No, no, so, so the first clip was the most recent episode of last week. The second clip was episode two, or of this season. In that scene, in, in the, the originally... She goes at her, right? Okay, so she goes at her, and then therefore that's what prompted Jamie to cheat. Now remember, Jamie was cheating when Jamie allegedly had COVID. All right, cool. Now obviously, fast forward now, we're in a position where Chrissy's saying that she goes to Jamie because um, she was too needy. That's what she just said now, right? Okay, remember that. Difficult, you know, a lot of times in relationships, people get mad, you know, because they think you're just not interested in them, or, you know, it's just... Okay, so she doesn't necessarily say that she goes to Jamie in this situation because of her narcolepsy, right? But she says that having narcolepsy is difficult for people because it can make people think they're not interested in them. So it's just interesting because here, she, in my opinion, Chris, is implying that she goes to Jamie the first time because she just didn't remember. Because she says that when it comes to narcolepsy, it can affect your memory and the whole shebang. But, 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 but... I want you to hang on to something real quick because even though that is just that may not be strong enough to 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 make the point that I'm going to make, but I want you to remember something. The COVID situation. So Jamie allegedly was speaking to another woman, okay, when she allegedly had COVID, which is something that was then shown on the first episode with the screenshots and all that. But I want you to listen to this. Eight months ago, Chris was supposed to come see me for my birthday, but she got cold feet and didn't come. She gets a fear for one month. She not told me nothing, and I think. All right, all right. <laughs> wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so, Chris says, six months ago, she ghosted Jamie. Jamie's because, okay, so six months ago, Jamie allegedly was cheating. And then that's when Chris disappeared for, for a month. Jamie says that eight months ago on her birthday, Chris goes at her for a month. Hmm. <laughs> TLC, Sharp TV, Night Day. Um, is there something going on in your storyline that isn't really adding up? Because at this moment here, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, hold on a minute. So did Chris mess up this story of the of 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 the uh, of the um the 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 the, 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 the whatever their relationship, or did Jamie mess it up, or did the network just tell them both two different things to say? I mean, listen, we can sit here and say that maybe Chris is the one that's got it incorrect because of her uh, narcolepsy. But when Chris was going through the explanation of why she had then ghosted Jamie the first time, okay, on the first episode, right, she showed proof, okay, although at least the show showed proof of Texas of her and Jamie having conversations about the fact that Jamie was cheating on Chris for the month. She had actually, the month that... Jamie had COVID, she was actually working and talking to a whole other woman, apparently. But now we're here. Six months ago, I found out that Jamie was talking to a woman from Texas. I received a message from this other woman. You cannot tell me that eight months ago, Chris you cannot tell me that eight months ago, Chris ghosted Jamie on her birthday and didn't speak to her for a whole month. And then you're telling me that on that seventh month, they then get back together, right? For then this time and then that month, on that sixth month instead, Chris then decides to ghost Jamie again for another month. And in that time, in that time, okay, was covid or whatever was happening at that time but then that's when jamie decided to go on out on another woman but then chris returned again for the same time for another after another month of being mia 
And then now that do I really have to spell this out to you? What is this madness that we are witnessing? <laughs> Whoa! This one's a bit of a blooper, isn't it? TLC, or should I say Sharp Entertainment, or 90 Day, whoever the hell messed this up, or was it Chris, or was it Jamie? But the question is though, who are we to believe? Are we to believe Jamie or are we to believe Chris? Because to be honest, to be given the fact that there was then evidence of Jamie speaking to another woman, well, then I guess we can only really be here to then believe Chris. But at the same time, though, it has been documented before, at least spoken of before by current, by past cast members that um, when it comes to TLC or 90 Day Franchise, for example, shall I say, they don't necessarily look after their, the foreign, um, the, the, they, they, they look after the, the American person better than they do, do the foreign person, right? Okay. So if that's the case, what is this? Is, is, is there some sort of plot to deceive and make Jamie look like this person when in reality it's Chris that is this person? I mean, honestly, it's, it's so hard to add things up. It is so hard to add things up. And you know what? To be honest with you, we can't even use her narcolepsy as even, a, as even a fact in this because the timeline is all over the joint. The timeline is over the joint, all over the joint, and also the reasons are all over the joint. We're hearing cheating for one, then we're hearing birthday for another one, then we're hearing, you know, uh, uh, narcolepsy and memory loss for another one. There's like four different things going on here, plus others that I probably haven't even thought about. <laughs> you know, it's crazy though, because I will say this though, um, this is kind of not relevant to the video, but it's relevant to the video, but there are people out here right now in, in the on the internet who actually think that um, Chris may just have some sort of, um, drug addiction problem due to her pain or right kind of stuff but that is something that i will speak about you know obviously in the future on another video or whatnot but uh i'm just trying to put a lot of things together here because uh something isn't right i mean come on like <laughs> you you can't fool someone like me you know what i mean <laughs> Either way, though, I definitely want to know if there's anything that I've missed that maybe you guys have noticed, or do you think that I'm just tripping? I mean, I know I'm not, but uh, you may think otherwise. Hmm. But give me one second. When Jamie was sick with COVID, I did help pay her bills. When I confronted her about it, Jamie denied it. And now we've got this whole thing about the bills being paid and everything. I'm kerfuffled. I think I made that up. Baffled. Kalabhold. Confusion wash wash wash. Carizzled. Anyway, if you're able to make sense out of what I've just discovered here, please do make sense of it. Because as far as I'm concerned, there is definitely something going wrong in this storyline that isn't really adding up. Which shouldn't surprise none of us. But anyway, let me know what you're thinking down below and we'll talk about it. Please don't forget to like, sub, and of course, peace.